morning, um, Juliet here. I, uh, I'm really moved this morning because um, I just watched this beautiful video about um, these chimpanzees that were um, basically spent like their entire life in a laboratory and then they were, um, you know, released into the wild and the, the way that they looked for the first time. And I just wanted to share this video because sometimes I think I get the impression from people that they feel like they can't do anything um, about these situations. And I want to tell you that, that we have to speak up for, for the animals in every way that we can, um, even when we think we can't. Um, I just, you know, I know I've, I've gone on record as saying that I don't support PETA and I don't support the Humane Society um, right now because of the way that they, they squander their funds. But what I do appreciate about them is that they do shine, you know, a light on um, some of these horrible situations. Um, you know, I, I can't even watch some of the pictures and videos that they put out of what they actually do to these animals, you know, in the name of science. And, you know, it's it's horrible. You can take it from me that it's horrible. And um, anyway, I, I would just like to call all of you to task that, you know, if you love cats and dogs and you care about them to, you know, just sign some petitions, spread the word, um, you know, educate your friends about some of these things. Um, you know, I know there's a there's a huge debate right now over, um, you know, whether we should be eating meat or not. And and my take on it, um, I actually gave up meat for Lent, and uh, it's actually been a lot harder than I thought. Um, but uh, you know, my take on it, you know, in our house is that, you know, if we're gonna cook meat, we're we're not gonna waste it. Um, I've also been trying to, to make sure that we don't just go and buy the cheapest stuff that we, you know, go to Whole Foods and, and get the free range stuff. Um, but, you know, it's hard to know. And, um, you know, I, I do th think that there's a, a happy medium somewhere between being like a mili militant vegan and uh, being someone that absolutely has to have meat in your house every single day and throws half of it in the trash. Um, but yeah, I just, I just want to reach out there to everybody that, um, you know, you, you can't leave, um, animal activism to, you know, a few people. You have to be part of it and you have to help. You have to shine the light in the dark corners. And I know that, you know, these videos are not for everybody. I, I don't even watch them anymore, but I do educate myself and I'm trying, you know, really hard, um, to speak up for them. You know, there's just, it's really sad right now. Everybody's poor and, um, their animals are the first thing, um, to be sacrificed, you know, uh, right now we're seeing at our rescue. Everybody is, um, you know, calling us up. We probably get three or four calls a day, people who want to just dump their pets. And if we don't take them, they take him to the shelter, and I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but when you take an animal to the shelter as an owner surrender, they can put him down after 72 hours. So if you think that your animal is so cute and adorable that somebody's going to adopt it, I have to tell you you're wrong. If a rescue group doesn't take it and you take your animal to the shelter, they will be put down. Their last few hours their last few moments will be alone and they'll be scared and they will die. So, um, please be responsible. And if you're going to adopt an animal, please make it for life. So, um, I know this was a long rambling rant and I just, um, just working in rescue, it, it's really sad, and I just hope that um, that we'll be more responsible and that we'll start to place uh, value on life, on all life. I just, it's precious. And, you know, as our kids 
grow up, you know, I don't have kids right now, but I see how they're growing up and how confused they are. Um, because how can you explain to them that one life is important and another isn't um, deemed on whether, whether it inconveniences us or not? You know, if your cat is old and it's sick, take care of it. All right. Um, that's all.